here an elevator car whose uh, floor to ceiling distance is equal to 2.7 meter let's say this is an elevator floor to ceiling distance is 2.7 meter starts ascending in upward direction with acceleration of 1.2 meter per second square 2 second after the start a bolt begins to fall at 2 seconds bolt begin to fall from the ceiling of the car so we have to find in part a the free fall time of bolt free fall time of bolt we have to find so here what we can do is we can solve this problem in frame of reference of elevator like if i if the observer is present in elevator this is observer is present in elevator and elevator is moving in upward direction with 1.2 acceleration then after 2 seconds the velocity u of elevator will be 2.4 meter per second using this uh, v is equal to u plus a t obviously the bolt should also be having same velocity as it was just attached to the lift initially so at t is equal to 2 second this is the velocity of lift in upward direction this is the velocity of uh, bolt at t is equal to 2 second it's uh, having one more thing which is acceleration of 1.2 so if in frame of reference of uh, lift with respect to this observer what we do in uh, relative reference frame we just stop this observer take all the things from him let's stop it take its acceleration and give all these things to this bolt in opposite direction so it will have an additional speed 2.4 meter per second it is having its own acceleration which is 9.8 that is g plus 1.2 it received from lift ya elevator to hum dekh sakte hain ki jo total displacement is bolt ko cover ab lift stop ho gayi hai तो टोटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट जो इस बोल्ट को कवर करना है दैट इज 2.7 मीटर इज इक्वल टू टोटल स्पीड इसकी 2.4 ऊपर 2.4 नीचे कैंसिल हो गई सो सिंपली हाफ ए ए इज सिंपली 11 इनटू टाइम टी स्क्वायर तो टाइम टी विल बी 5.4 बाय 11 अंडर रूट सो दिस विल बी द फाइनल आंसर so it's nearly 0.7 seconds now in part b what is asked the displacement and the distance traveled or covered by the bolt during the free fall in the reference frame fixed to elevator so i have to find the displacement obviously the displacement is very simple in reference frame of this elevator part b in reference frame of elevator let's say some observer is present here and uh, the bolt start falling from this point and will obviously finally reach at this point so the final displacement will be only 0.7 this 2.7 meter isn't it so with respect to this elevator this displacement will be 0.7 meter but but uh, kindly note that in question we are said that we have to find distance and displacement with respect to elevator shaft which means they want to find the distance and displacement with respect to earth so with respect to earth if we have to find the displacement of the particle then we can easily find using second equation so let's say the bolt was having speed 2.4 meter per second and uh, it was having an 
acceleration of uh, g that is 9.8 meter per second square in downward direction so its displacement in 0.7 seconds it will reach earth or uh, it will it will uh, reach the uh, floor of the elevator in 0.7 seconds so uh, displacement will be 2.4 into t minus half g t square where t is 0.7 square so if we solve it solving this we get uh, around 0.7 meter and uh, in next segment what is asked uh, to us is what if we have find in this segment is like uh, the the bolt will move in this manner so we have found this distance okay so this is s in uh, if we have to find the distance then we'll also have to add these two quantity this this distance we have to find also which will be very simple to calculate if we have to find this distance then the object is moving in upward direction with speed of 2.4 which will become zero in time or this time will be this time will be this will be 2u by g and this h max if i take it as reference ground reference then h will be u square by 2g itna upar jana and itna hi wapas niche aa jana so this will be the uh, distance additional that we have to add in this point 7 so 2 into 2.4 speed t ka square by 2 into 9.8 so solving this what i get is is the extra distance 2h where h is this uh, so what i get here is uh, 0.58 so total distance total distance will be 2h plus s that is 0.7 plus around you can call it 0.6 so it will be on an average it will be around 1.3 meter okay